Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Coffee and Headlines, our morning get-together live here on Facebook, where we take a look at headlines from our city, state, and country. We take a look at your comments, ideas, and suggestions. We combine all this knowledge to hopefully connect with each other and with our city as a community of English-speaking locals living here in Puerto Vallarta. It is a pleasure to see you every single day, and today is no exception. Today is June 6th. And I see that there's a lot of usual faces here. It, how wonderful that is. Ah, <clears throat> today, as always, we welcome those of you that are watching live for the first time to let us know by writing the word new in your comment. We'll be so very happy to give you a nice little welcome. If you have something really important that you wish to share with everyone, feel free to add a capital letter Q. It may be a question or a comment or an announcement, and we'll be so very happy to showcase it during the second half of the broadcast. Today, we have news that are interesting from our city. We have an update about the Mariachi Festival. We have um, an interesting story about what's going on with ports um, where cruise ships arrive in Mexico. Are they still usable or not? This doesn't affect us, but I thought it was an interesting read. And I have a question that we're going to talk about later on. Are we self-aware enough to recognize moments in which we are obnoxious? Um, why I'm asking this will become clear later on, um, but we're going to talk about being obnoxious uh, for a little bit, not too long, but I, I, I'll make sense as soon as I share the news item with you. Let us get started with the news uh, and we'll take it from there. Uh, for starters, yesterday, a group of locals protested outside of City Hall due to continuing water shortages in some parts of the city. Uh, they were arguing that they've gone through months with the problem along with an increasingly expensive water bill. A spokesperson for Seapal was there trying to explain the situation, and his arguing had to do with the fact that the, the primary well that services the city of Puerto Vallarta was built 30 years ago for the population that lived in Puerto Vallarta 30 years ago. And uh, needless to say, uh, the number of inhabitants in the city exceed its capacity today, uh, which makes perfect sense. Um, what the spokesperson may have failed to announce is whatever plans there are that Seapal is uh, going through to alleviate these problems. There was a 35 minute video that I didn't get to watch in the, the news note that I referenced this morning about this, in which the, you know, the, 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 the spokesperson from Fort Chapal is trying to explain himself to a number of angry and frustrated people Uh, the people are not really listening, and the Sapal spokesperson is not necessarily the most eloquent cat out 
uh, in the world. So it's a challenging thing. Uh, this is, again, something that we may or may not be aware of simply because we live in a part of the city that has been favored either by the plumbing or by the authorities or whatnot. It always seems to be that these problems seem to take place in the less, in the less um, privileged part of the cities, but that doesn't make it any less important. Um, hopefully, hopefully the problems will be alleviated at some point. Moving right along, the producers of the upcoming Mariachi Festival that we've been talking about held a press conference to formally announce the event here at Coffee and Headlines. As I said, we've mentioned it a couple of times, including the official website. It is nice to know, however, that there will be a mariachi parade along the Malecon at 6 p.m. on June 25th. And there's going to be a painting and photography exhibition at City Hall at the same time. So June 25th might be a fun day to saunter around the city and check out the activities. And of course, the big mariachi gala that has been announced at the International Convention Center will take place on June 30th. And it features a few big names of the mariachi world, including the amazing singer Aida Cuevas. And she's amazing. She really is. And of course, the Mariachi Nuevo Tecalitlan will be there to perform. This is going to be a paid event, but I'm sure it's going to be definitely worth attending. And I have some fun good news. The new sculpture by Jim Demetro titled Salud has been installed and inaugurated along the Malecon extension near Lázaro Cárdenas Park. This is his fifth contribution, his fifth public sculpture to the increasing number of sculptures that adorn our city. And in this one, a life-size donkey can be seen drinking a margarita in front of an empty chair in which passers-by are able to actually sit down and toast with the donkey. Just keep in mind that it's really warm out there and sitting down on a bronze sculpture in the middle of a summer day in Puerto Vallarta may be a little bit challenging unless you're wearing um, thick clothing. So just be careful of your bum if you choose to toast with the donkey. And then there's this interesting post that I read uh, again about... Um, how many Mexican ports are becoming obsolete because they haven't been updated to welcome cruise ships properly in the last few years. Fortunately for us, Puerto Vallarta is not among them. Uh, we are <clears throat> learning this from Arturo Musi, a gentleman who oversees the Mexican Association of Companies that provide services for cruise ships, otherwise known as AMEPACT. According to Musi, there are 17 ports in the Mexican Pacific coast that could welcome cruise ships, but unfortunately only four, including ours, are uh, maintained in such a way that they are able to provide the infrastructure necessary for cruise ships to dock at these ports. And of course, a nasty heat wave continues to affect the majority of the country, as reported by the National Weather Services. Let's take a quick look at the Weather Service forecast to see what we can expect. This, of course, from our snarky weatherman who says, don't tell anyone, but I regularly send bad weather to areas with high concentrations of creationists. Okay, <laughs> whatever. It is 28 degrees right now. Um, it's 66% humidity, so it's balmy out there. And our temperature in Fahrenheit degrees is 82 degrees. Our weather forecast for today says we're going to have clear skies in the morning with overcast skies in the afternoon, a high of 31 and a low of 24. Then tomorrow, Wednesday, will be a humid day with overcast skies, plus some patches of sun shining through, an increased chance of precipitation, of 21 percent a high of 31 and a low of 24 we had forecasted yesterday that it might rain on wednesday so we keep our fingers crossed and then on thursday we will have mostly cloudy skies in the morning with mostly clear skies in the afternoon and a lower chance of rain a high temperature of 30 and a low of 23 so if it rains this week it seems like it might be on wednesday so keep your fingers crossed. 
Moving right along, um, I have found out that there's another perk uh, to space travel. You know, we know that you get instant recognition. You get a Barbie doll designed after you, and also you get the keys to a city. This happened to Katia Chazarreta, the first woman astronaut from Mexico. We know that she took one of those flights in which you go up there and she went, whoop, there's the sky and there's the earth, and she came back 20 minutes later. She was given the keys to Guadalajara in a ceremony that took place yesterday, during which she announced that space travel opportunities to Mexicans are coming. So all I can say about that is brace yourselves, stock up on Dramamine, and make sure you have a hefty bank account. <laughs> Moving right along, I want to let you know that our friends from Echo a Mano are doing it again. They're organizing yet another pop-up art show, and this time it's taking place at a restaurant that I haven't gone to, so it's a perfect excuse to go and check it out. It's going to be on Friday, June 23rd from 4 to 11 p.m. at Casa Guadalajara Bar and Grill. This is a fairly new Mexican restaurant that opened on Fluvial Vallarta Avenue. There used to be another Mexican restaurant there. I haven't checked out the new one, so of course I'm going to try my best to be present. Again, this is what Echo a Mano PV organizes on an ongoing basis to put you us to put us in direct contact with uh, contact bleh, contact with um, creators of handmade crafts that live here in Puerto Vallarta. Um, so it's always a great opportunity to support small businesses. And um, we've gotten to my last headline of today, which has to do with obnoxiousness. Now, my idea of talking about obnoxiousness comes from a headline that has absolutely nothing to do with Guadalajara, with Guadalajara, with Puerto Vallarta, but um, I will I will show it to you in a second, but first I want to ask you if you remember or you think about the last time that you were obnoxious. Um, obnoxiousness as I experience it, because I am obnoxious, and I hope that I'm sufficiently self-aware to know that, oops, I've been obnoxious again. And it happened to me recently, you know, I, it wasn't not even a month ago that I went to the movies with Logan and a couple of other friends, and Logan and I are sitting there at the VIP, and we uh, pushed the button to um, place our order of popcorn and, and soda, and we were taken care of by this young man who, you know, made my gaydar go ding, 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 ding. So, so we started flirting with him. Not offensively, I think, but um, it, it was one of those strange things in which I, um, he told us that he was not feeling well. He had a little bit of a chest cold. So we kept saying to him, you know, I, we hope you feel better, da, 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 da. And then I would throw in some kind of, uh, you know, queer joke and so forth and so on. And then I noticed that this gentleman, uh, when it was time to deliver the food, he didn't come back and I didn't see him at all. And I, I remember thinking to myself, you know, Paco, were you obnoxious to a degree that you were offensive? And I don't have an answer about this. And of course, I didn't lose sleep over it, but the memory of this stayed with me. And why am I telling you this? Well, because I'm going to show you a news item about a person that defended herself from a very obnoxious person. And the only reason why I share my own personal struggle with occasional obnoxiousness is because I do think that many of us have a tendency to be obnoxious from time to time or be the victims of or to suffer from an obnoxious person. So... By saying this out loud, I'm just hoping that my obnoxiousness uh, will stay in check. Now, you're probably wondering, what the fuck is he talking about? And why is he talking about this? And what happened to whom? And so forth and so on. And here is the news item that has absolutely nothing to do with Puerto Vallarta. But apparently this um, weather, not weather, the sports reporter by the name of Samantha Rivera is being hailed. She was covering a game uh, in Miami, I believe. Yes, she seems to be in Miami. 
and she was going about her business in a very uh, festive way. And apparently some obnoxious dude tried to get on camera with her and go, oh, go team, go team. And and if you look at the video, because there's a video attached to it, she was so poised and she remained so cool. But essentially all she did is she took her arm and just pushed him out without ever losing sight of the camera. And she did so in the most professional way. And again, this has nothing to do with us, which has nothing to do with Puerto Vallarta. But it did remind me of times in which I have been inadvertently obnoxious or times in which I have suffered with obnoxious people around me. How do you feel about that? If you have any comments about obnoxiousness, uh, feel free to let me know. I am going to hit the chit chat button to see exactly where everybody is at. And as always, we'll be looking for good mornings and we were going to be looking for cues cues next to your comments i see a lot of good mornings today which is really wonderful uh yes yeah, still no rain but we are keeping our fingers crossed uh, bill says it hasn't rained yet in versailles and that is true uh, let's see what else we have. Joshua is here. Hello, Joshua. I hope you're recovering from your questionable haircut. <laughs> it's always great to see you. And I look forward to seeing you guys this afternoon. This afternoon, I'm getting together with Joshua and Lucy of Echo Amano. They're going to tell me about some new exciting projects that they are uh, planning and I can't wait to hear about all the work that they're doing. Um, Claude reports there was no water on Sunday at the airport. That is a scary place to not have water. And Michal adds a cue. Speaking of water shortages, a great movie, Tank Girl, based on comic, came out in the 90s. Highly recommended. Lori Petty is so good in the role. Fighting for Water Supply Controlled by Mega World Corporation. I've never heard of this movie before, but I'm definitely going to look for it after the broadcast. Thank you so much for that suggestion. Um, and Barbara has a comment about having enjoyed a number of lovely evenings at Casa Guadalajara. This is the restaurant we just talked about, so I'm excited to, uh, to see this. And of course, here's Lucy saying it's always a pleasure to have you visiting us. Lucy has worked so hard to promote her brand Echo a Mano, and it makes me very, very happy uh, that she's doing well. And of course, we will share the link to the next event in the show notes as always. Uh, let's see what else we have. Here's another cue. Mark asks, do you know if the Malecon has been cleaned? I took a bus down towards the Malecon just the other day, and it seems like it has been cleaned. Uh, whether it smells funny or not, I didn't I didn't walk through the Malecon, unfortunately. Uh, uh, yes, I saw this. Noticias Pepe has a video this morning of this man getting groped by all these women on the train and demanded pictures of him. Can't remember what city. That's a little obnoxious. I can tell you what I know about that. I didn't pay attention to it because it happened in Mexico City. In Mexico City, the last train car of every of every line, the last one or two, are for women only. No man can board these trains, and this is for women's safety. But somehow this foreign-looking dude who was tall and handsome ended up in the car that is only for women. And uh, because he was tall and foreign-looking, the women didn't seem to mind it, and apparently they even in indulged in some touchy-feely. So that was a little bit obnoxious. I kind of agree with you, but again, I don't know uh, exactly what that was about. Uh, -pum -pum, -pum 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 -pum. Bill had, adds another comment. We should be more conscious about how our words and actions affect others. You have no idea what people are dealing with. A little kindness and encouragement at the right moment can mean so much to someone. I, I totally hear you. 
I totally hear you. And, um, you know, and that's, that's obnoxiousness. I mean, I think the last time I remember somebody did something obnoxious, uh, to me was, well, uh, I'd rather not talk about it. Well, I'm going to talk about the second from last one because the, the last one had to do with coffee and headlines and I don't want to offend anyone. But the second from last one, I was just minding my own business, shooting a video in the Malecon with my camera on a tripod and I was trying to get a really good shot. And there were these tourists that kept walking back and forth and they kept making signs and doing this, that and the other. And... Uh, you know, you think you're being funny, but at the end of the day, dude, I was just trying to do my work. I was trying to earn a living. So, you know, it is one of those things. Anyhow, this is what we had um, we had for today. I don't see many comments about obnoxiousness. Maybe you are not obnoxious, which is wonderful. If you are never obnoxious, please tell me some advice because occasionally I cannot manage my own obnoxiousness until it's come out of my mouth or my actions. So I would appreciate any help I can get. Thank you for joining me today and we'll be back tomorrow again for more coffee and headlines and insight and all kinds of obnoxious content. Have a good one.